And now, for everyone's favorite game show, it's Two What's and a Wow! The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what's. And the category or theme for today is rain. Mindy, why don't you refresh our contestants on how the game works? You know it. Wowzers, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three scientific statements about rain. But, and this is a big but. Only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made-up what? <laughs> now, in each round, if you guess correctly, congratulations, you win a point. But if you guess incorrectly, you must stop, drop, and do a ridiculous physical challenge. Woo-hoo! Okay, everyone ready to start the game? Great, let's do it. Okay, round one. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, raindrops are shaped like hamburgers? Or is it B, rainwater is the purest water on Earth? Or is it C, the higher a cloud in the atmosphere, the more rain it produces? When you think you have the correct answer, say it with a splash. Psst, Cue the thinking music. And time is up. Let's now reveal the winning wow. And to do just that, it's Megan from Wisconsin. Megan, tell us, what's the winning wow? Hi, my wow is that raindrops are shaped like hamburgers. Winner, winner, rain burgers for dinner! Thank you, Megan. Contestants, if you guessed the answer A, that raindrops are kind of shaped like hamburgers, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. Rain doesn't actually fall in the teardrop shapes you might think of. Raindrops start off in a round, roughly spherical shape when they form, but they don't stay that way. Air pushes up on the raindrop as it falls. This flattens out the bottom, making it look kind of like a hamburger bun. Now, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, and ride an invisible water slide. (laughs) Okay, round two. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, it takes about two minutes for a raindrop to hit the ground? Or is it B, the rainiest place on Earth is in the forests of Madagascar? Or is it C, the largest raindrops ever recorded were about one inch wide? When you think you have the correct answer, use your tongue to write it on the roof of your mouth. (laughs) Hey, Reggie, cue the thinking music. (laughs) And time is up. To reveal the winning wow, joining us by phone, it's Judah. Judah, what's the wow? Hello, my name is Judah. My wow is that it takes about two minutes for a raindrop to hit the ground. Winner, winner, raindrops for dinner! That's right, Judah. Wowzers, if you guessed A, that it takes about two minutes for a raindrop to hit the ground, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. The average raindrop falls at a speed of around 14 miles per hour. When it falls from a cloud that is 2,500 feet in the air, it takes about two minutes to splash onto your noggin. But not all raindrops fall at the same speed. 
larger raindrops fall faster, and the tiniest raindrops can take up to seven minutes to hit the ground. Now, if you did not get the correct answer, you must stop, drop, and play an invisible piano with your toes. Okay, round three. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, ducks do a special dance when it rains? Or is it B, there is a species of ladybug that only drinks rainwater? Or is it C, if a tornado picks up seawater with fish in it, it can rain fish? Psst, Reggie, <coughs> cue the thinking music. <coughs> Time is up! And joining us by phone to reveal the answer, it's Simone and Tristan from Louisiana. Simone and Tristan, let's hear the winning wow. I'm Indian Guy Raz, my name's Simone, and I'm Tristan. And our wow in the world is that if a tornado picks up seal water with fish in it, later it will rain fish. Isn't that amazing? Winner, winner, flying fish for dinner! Thank you, Simone and Tristan. Contestants, if you guess the answer C, that if a tornado picks up seawater with fish in it, it can rain fish, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. Animal rain is incredibly rare, but it can happen if a tornado moves over a body of water. The tornado pulls water upwards, creating a water spout. Fish are pulled up the water spout and into the tornado. The water spout can only maintain its energy for so long. And when it loses momentum, the fish fall and become, well, fish rain. Amazingly, fish can survive the water spout and their fall to the ground. Now, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, and spin around like a fish nato. What was that? Oh, Guy Raz, that sound can mean only one thing. Winter is coming? No, it's time for today's Bonker Balls bonus round. And the question for this round is, what number am I thinking of? Uh, three? No. Fifteen? No. Mindy, uh, there are literally an infinite number of numbers. Uh, can you at least give me a hint? Okay. It's between one and eighty-eight million. Is it 88 million? Close! It's 87,999,999 and a half. Uh, well, um, congratulations to all of our winning contestants. Mindy, what's today's prize? Guy Raz, today's winning wowzers will all receive their very own invisible brass toot tutor! Uh, what, what? You know, an instrument where you blow air in and toot toots come out. Uh, I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ah, <sighs> I'll just have to show you. Reggie, my toot tooter. Thank you. <gasps> A trumpet? Yeah, man. <sighs> Well, that's all the time we have for today. But before we go, we have a little scientific challenge for you. We call it Operation Measure the Weather. For this challenge, we want you to ask a grown-up to cut the top off a clear plastic water bottle. Then, take a ruler and a permanent marker and make one mark for every five centimeters on the side. Put the bottle outside the next time it rains and make sure it's secure so it doesn't fall over. Then, when the storm is over, you can measure how much it rained. And don't forget to take a photo or a video. Grown-ups, you can upload pictures and videos to us at tinkercast.com share. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World and again on Friday for a new episode of Two What's in a Wow. Until then, keep, keep on, on wowing! wowing.